If I Built a School by Chris Van Dusen Jack on the playground said to Miss Jane, This school is okay, but it's pitifully plain. The builders who built this, I think should be banned. It's nothing at all like a school I have planned. If I build a school, the first thing you meet are lots of cute puppies. They'll flock to your feet. But why stop at puppies? Why not a whole zoo? So I add a bunch of big animals too. Right off the lobby, to get to your class, I set up a system of tubes made of glass. You hop in a pod, press the number, then zoom! In under 10 seconds, you're right at your room. All of the classrooms are built onto towers that sprout from the schoolyard like colorful flowers. And like giant petals that welcome the day, the roof opens up in a similar way. Panels fold back and they let in the sun, which frankly makes being there much more fun. Now come see your classroom, isn't it grand? The free floating platform is where you would stand. And using a stylus, you write in the air. No blackboards, no whiteboards, no nothing is there. Your words just appear and they magically glow. Don't ask how this works, cause I don't really know. But you're not the only one floating around. Check out the desk, they don't touch the ground. These are my hover desks, see how they glide? They even have bumpers in case you collide. In my kind of classes, we wouldn't have tests. I'd liven things up with some hologram guests. Here are some samples of what I'd be thinking. You might meet a T-Rex or Abraham Lincoln. The library's next door, so let's have a look. You won't find your everyday regular book. These books come alive when removed from the rack. They pop up like pop-ups, but pop-ups to the max. And if you're not sure what a book is about, you'll find out quite quickly when something pops out. It's off to the gym, and this place is so cool. Around it, please note my perimeter pool. The pool is a deep oval that everyone likes. You race underwater on submarine bikes. Up there is my trampoline basketball court. It's partially a bouncy house and partially a sport. There's also a rock wall. And here's something new. I've added some skydiving wind tunnels too. I just heard the lunch bell, so let's go eat. I'd like you to meet my new robot chef, Pete. He's 20 feet tall and spins on a gear. You order your lunch in this microphone here. And Pete can make anything, simple or weird, from PB and jelly to squid like seared. Now it's time for recess. Let's head out the door. My playground is awesome. So much to explore. Fly on a zip line way up in the sky or slide down the twistiest slide three stories high. And after all that, if you're hot and you're beat, then you can go tubing. Now that would be sweet. In art, we use sprayers to splash out the paint. In music, we're loud, but our teacher's a saint. And over in science, just one of the features is lab-grown genetically modified creatures. We'll visit new places, travel, explore. Cause we'll go on a field trip, field trips galore. My specialty buses will tote us around. They drive underwater, they blast off the ground. And yes, they have wheels like our regular cars which neatly retracts when we rocket to Mars. My school will amaze you, my school will astound. By far the most fabulous school to be found. Perfectly pan and impeccably clean. On a scale of one to 10, it's more like 15. And learning is fun in a place that's fun too. If I build a school, that's just what I'd do.